the, our, this is Arya Targaryen, and this is my first ever Let's Play for Suikoden. And Suikoden is one of my favorite video game series of all time. I have played this one and the second one probably a billion times each. So let's go ahead and get started and name our character. His canon name is Tyr, but I'm going to name him Vance because one, I love the Song of Ice and Fire, and two, you have to give him a name that starts with the letter M or his name in Suikoden 2 will be some weird name with a odd first letter. So let's go! Sarah, why are you washing clothes already? I don't even know you. All right. And we're in Greymaster Palace. This is our dad, Tio. He's a total badass. And it's time to go meet the Emperor. Oh my god. Emperor Barbarossa. Serious music time. And there's Wendy and Barbarossa and some guy. Wendy, you look like a hooker. Okay, I really, really need to up text speed because this is getting stupid. He's a very ugly fellow. I would be willing to go to the place and do the thing. Why does that guy look like he's wearing green underpants on his head? And Barbarossa is going to give my daddy his sword, which sounds like some kind of creepy sexual innuendo, but I assure you it is not. Thank you. I would totally be willing to help you, guy. I don't want him. Yeah, that's the uh, little baby answer. I really don't want you to look into my manhood. I would greatly appreciate you staying out of that creeper. Oh, yay. Now we get to meet Commander Craze. Uh, get away from me. I like how your dad's are like, let's get my son away from the creepy cougar. Alright, so let's walk around a little bit and say hi to some people. Hi, lady. She was. I have no idea who that is. Except I do, because I've played this a billion times. Alright, let's go say hi to Kasim Hazil. He's another one of the five generals. And apparently he's got quite a crush on my dad. Alright, let's get out of here. So in this game, you can't run until you acquire the Holy Rune. And you can't get one of those for a little bit. You have to either farm one or wait until you get Stallion, who is the most obnoxious character ever. But enough about him. Let's say hi to these people. And pillage some armor. Well, not some armor. We will pillage in the armor. So you join the army for silver shiny boots, okay. Yay, we found a hundred monies! Alright, let's go talk to Commander Douchebag. Yeah, you don't look evil at all. That would be my name. Oh, I skipped that, sorry. All he was saying is tomorrow I have to come and talk to him and I'm basically his bitch. Gromio's always worried sick, because that's Gromio's sole purpose in life, is to worry and to cook. Which is kind of a pathetic existence if you ask me, but whatever. And here's the music that will be stuck in my head forever after playing this. Oh my god. Alright, here's Gromio! He's kind of like our, I don't know nurse, except he's a dude with a giant creepy scar. But yeah, he's kind of our, you know, protector. He cooks for us, watches over us, attempts rather feebly to keep us out of trouble. But yeah. <laughs> Poor Tio, he gets no love. Except from a character that I can't mention yet, because that would be a spoiler! 
<gasps> Not the stew. Alright, well, see you later, Dad. Let's go read Pawn's diary while he's sleeping. You ate a lot of shit today, sir. Oh, we're not gonna scare him. Uh, your supper's on the stove. Calm down, buddy. Yeah, let's go say hi to Cleo! Cleo's kind of like... I don't know, I guess... Kind of like your surrogate mother? It's- I don't know, it's weird. But she runs around with you and tries to protect you and keep you from getting into trouble. And she's a little bit more into getting into trouble than, say, Gremio, because he's always trying to keep you out of trouble. Whereas Cleo's kind of like, hey, whatever you want to do, let's go do it. Let's go have some fun. This is Ted. He's our bestie. But before we do anything, like with the plot and blah de blah, we are going to go acquire the prosperity room. Which, whoa, you can get the fortune rune or the prosperity rune at this point. If you were going for the fortune rune, you would want to not get Ted in your party. You would have wanted to just leave your house. But what we're gonna do is speed up the damn message speed. Alright. So, I'm gonna level up a little bit with Ted, and then I'll show you guys how to go about getting the prosperity room. Alright, see you in a sec. Alright, welcome back to my Let's Play for Sweden 1. I leveled up a bit, and uh, Ted and Tyr are now level 11. And we have 11,000 bits, which is very important because that means we can go to Rockland and we can totes abuse the uh, Marco trick. So we're gonna do that before we go get the Prosperity Room for the sole fact that we want to go hit Lenin Camp and level up our weapons. And we're gonna kill these bees because we're hoping they drop a Holy Crystal. They've been douches so far, but you know, let's see. And here is poison. Yay. Oh, come on. Die and give me your crystal already. Really? Really, Tear? You're level 11, you can't hit like a level 1B. Kinda sad. Alright, let's go to Rockland. So, we're gonna save first because, yeah, I don't wanna lose a bunch of posh. And we're gonna stay since we're poisoned and missing HP, and I don't want to waste uh, medicines. Save. Save the games. La la la. All right. So the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna talk to Marco. Come here, you little bastard. And this trick only works while he's here in Rockland. So. We're gonna play a coin finding game with him. So the funny thing about Marco is, every time you load the game, it's the coin is gonna be under the same cup. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the 100 bits about 10 times to figure out his pattern, and then we're gonna leave town and come back and do the pattern using the 10,000 bits prize. So that way we'll be able to turn our 11,000 bits into however many bits we feel like grinding. So yeah, let's do this. The only problem is, the 100 bits one takes forever. So yeah. Let's sit back and be bored to tears for a little bit. Uh, I think it's the right. It is! It's like magic. Alright, actually, I'm not gonna make you guys watch this, so I will be right back. Hold on. Welcome back! Um, so, I have a shitload of potch now. Well, bits in this one, but technically it's potch. So, I farmed 500,000 bits, and yeah. I'm gonna turn down my speaker volume, because it's a little bit loud. And now we can finally go get the damn prosperity room. Oh, I saved before I started this up again also. So, just let you guys know when I was leveling, I leveled out here until I was about level 8 or so, and then the enemies kind of get weak. <laughs> so I went and leveled up in uh, Mount Seifu, which is to the east of Rockland, and we'll be going there later as a plot point. 
But this is Lennon Camp. And this is where we wanted to come so that we could train up our weapons. So let's go get Ted some damn armor so he stops getting his ass beat. Because literally when I was trying to grind, it was, oh my god, he died like the first eight or nine battles. <laughs> And I had to wait until it got to the point where there was only one enemy so that Mance could kill him and that Ted wouldn't, you know, explode with fear. So we're gonna grind them both up to level 5, which is the maximum we can do at this point in the game. Doo -doo -doo. Oh yeah, and the weapon names actually change as you level them up. And there's a group of people who are from a place called Warrior's Village. And their weapons are actually named after significant people in their lives. It's pretty cool. That actually is a plot point in this one and two, but not so much in the later ones. Alright, let's get some armor. Oh, you know what? We need to sell my bandana. While I was grinding, I found two pointed hats, which are better than the nothing that Ted was wearing before and the bandana that Tyr had for man. Let's buy some brass armor for Mance. Uh, Ted, why can't you wear any armor? What's wrong with you? Alright, let's get Ted a cape. Alright, let's equip our stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so the cape is an accessory. So let's get Ted another one. Because we're so freaking nice to poor little Ted. Oh, and I put it in the wrong inventory, so what you have to do is go into item, and then you're gonna hand it over to Ted. And then you go down to equipment, and you equip it. No, let's not equip nothing. Alright, and then we're gonna sell what we just replaced. On that question pot, um, basically, Enemies will drop unidentified items like, you know, pots and other random stuff. In later games they drop more stuff. In this I think it's almost exclusively pots and figurines. But um, you have to get this stuff identified. And that one very likely is just like a failure or something. Because early in the game you usually can't find anything good. Why did I come back here? I think I'm on crack. Oh, you know what? Let's get a couple more medicines just in case. Because we're going to Mount Tiger Wolf. And yeah, that place is kind of kind of scary. 